And finally, as free peoples, we join together not simply to safeguard our own security, but to advance the freedom of others. Today, we reaffirm the principles for which we stand. We stand together because we believe that people and nations have the right to determine their own destiny, and that includes the people of Ukraine. Robbed by a corrupt regime, Ukrainians demanded a government that served them. Ble beaten and bloodied, they refused to yield. Threatened and harassed, they lined up to vote. They elected a new president in a free election because a leader's legitimacy can only come from the consent of the people. And Ukrainians have now embarked on the hard road of reform. I met with President-elect Poroshenko this morning, and I told him that just as free nations offered support and assistance to Poland in your tra transition to democracy, we stand with Ukrainians now. Ukraine must be free to choose its own future for itself and by itself. And we reject the zero-sum thinking of the past. A free and independent Ukraine needs strong ties and growing trade with Europe and Russia and the United States and the rest of the world. Because the people of Ukraine are reaching out for the same freedom and opportunities and progress that we celebrate here today. And they deserve them too.